Right now on News 4 at 6, an overnight crash takes the life of a Buffalo man. We had the latest details on this development. Residents impacted by tornado damage are getting their insurance questions answered tonight in Hamburg. Details in a live report coming up. And not really feeling like August out there today, but we will have some improvements for your Sunday forecast. I'll let you know when we'll be back to summer like temperatures coming up in your 41 forecast. Live in high definition, this is Western New York's news leader. Now, news four at six. Homeowners across western New York are picking up the pieces today after severe storms rolled through the area. The storms knocked down trees and power lines, causing outages for several hours. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us tonight at 6. I'm Marissa Perlman. City of Buffalo crews are continuing to clean up today. They say city forestry crews received more than 100 calls about tree damage to homes and to cars. We want to show you some video now. From the aftermath of the storms in the South Buffalo area, we're told this was one of the hardest hit areas. City leaders say many of the calls have been for downed tree limbs or branches. As for power, National Grid reports all power has been restored to all but a few Buffalo customers. We're also told all traffic lights are now up and running. At one point, though, at least 10 different signals were out. Tonight, we are still watching some severe weather threats across the area. For Warren Meteorologist Andrew Begalini joins us now to tell us about a lakeshore flood warning that's in effect until midnight tonight, Andrew. Yeah, uh, that, that was really uh, because of the storm that we had yesterday. We're seeing the effects right now. We have the cold and we have the wind, and it's the wind especially that's causing some problems up along the Lake Ontario shoreline in uh, Niagara and Orleans counties. Here's a look at Lindenville. You can see certainly choppy out there, but Here's the thing. We do have this lakeshore flood warning again for Niagara and Orleans counties, the lakeshores until midnight because of winds generally out of the west around 20 to 30 miles per hour. And as you take a look at the current wind gusts, it is awfully blustery out there, but the wind directions are something that we're keeping a close eye on right now. It's running right along the lakeshore. If it were running onto the lakeshore, that could be causing some higher waves to crash on the lakeshore and cause that flooding. But because it's running more parallel, we're more concerned about erosion along the shoreline. Still definitely a concern, uh, but we could see the winds buckle a little bit out of the northwest. Right now, the heaviest of the water being pushed in to the eastern end of Lake Ontario, so that's a little bit of good news. Satellite and radar, it hasn't been a very summer-like day. We've seen some breaks of sunshine, but also some times of showers. We do have a little more rain moving into the Chautauqua Ridge now. Temperatures did manage low 70s along the Niagara frontier, especially up towards the falls with some sunshine, but much cooler in the southern tier 60s and even some upper 50s showing up. Well, generally bottom out in the 50s and even some 40s, believe it or not, across the southern tier valleys overnight. So it is a night maybe with the hoodies or at least a light jacket if you're going to be out. Tomorrow we will see some improvements back into the mid 70s with more sunshine early on. But coming up in your full forecast, I'll let you know when you'll need the umbrellas. All right, Andrew, thank you. Meanwhile, Western New York is still recovering from the flooding along Lake Ontario. Water levels there are still above average. Now the state is sending in help ahead of more storms you heard that are coming our way. Governor Andrew Cuomo is sending 25 National Guard troops and a Homeland Security and Emergency Services truck with pumps, hoses, and rescue boats. Lake Ontario has decreased six inches from its highest level, but is still a threat to homeowners and businesses living along the shoreline. Another warning from the state tonight. Strong waves at area lakes can make for dangerous situations for boaters and those near the shoreline as well. Right now, a small craft advisory is in effect for several areas because of the high winds there. Now, those areas include the upper Niagara River, Buffalo Harbor, Lake Ontario, and Lake Erie. The governor says these advisories are issued when wind speeds hit 18 to 33 knots. We've also learned about another confirmed tornado that touched down during serious storms about two weeks ago. The National Weather Service confirms a fourth tornado touched down in Rushford on July 20th. We told you three others were previously confirmed in Hamburg, Holland, and Angelica. The National Weather Service says the Rushford tornado was not as strong as the others, reaching a maximum of 85 miles per hour. Recovery efforts from those tornadoes are still ongoing in Erie County. Hamburg, as we've told you right here on News 4, was one of the hardest hit areas. Neighbors who were directly impacted are getting their questions answered today. News 4's Angela Christophoros joins us now to tell us how people can get some help tonight. Angela? 
Well, Marissa, financial experts have been inside this mobile command center at the Hamburg Town Hall all day today. They've been here since 10 o'clock this morning, and since then, more than 30 residents have come here today to find out what kind of financial assistance they could get after four tornadoes ripped through this region a few weeks ago. Now, several people are suffering extensive property damage, like damage to the roof of their homes. Members of the State Department of Financial Services are here to point residents in the right direction. A common question that has come up here today concerns what kind of financial assistance residents can get with cleaning up down trees. Now I'm told that a lot of it really depends on the insurance policy and in some cases costs aren't covered if there wasn't damage to the property. Most people have coverage for one thing or another but again it goes back to that if there was no damage to their structure. Um, you know I, I had uh, one particular woman who had her electrical service damaged with a tree that fell down. Uh, electrical service isn't covered. She had to have her electrical service replaced in her home that wasn't to code. So now she incurs the expense of getting that up to code. So you're talking twelve to fifteen thousand dollars of unexpected expenses. Now, in some cases, residents are left with picking up the cost of paying for thousands of dollars worth of repairs that aren't covered by insurance. Now, I'm also told that financial experts here are also assisting residents who were impacted by flooding in Cheektowaga a couple of weeks back. Now, financial experts will be here until about 8 o'clock tonight. So if you're one of the residents that was impacted by tornado damage, you do still have some time to make it out here tonight. And it's not just for Hamburg residents, it's also open to residents of nearby communities like Orchard Park. We'll have much more on this later tonight, and you'll hear from residents who were impacted by the tornado. But for now, reporting live in Hamburg, Angela Christoforos, News 4 at 6. We're also following a developing story tonight at 6. Buffalo police are investigating a fatal car crash. This happened around 345 early this morning. Now, this was on the 1100 block of Main Street. We're told the driver of this car here crossed the yellow line, went up onto a sidewalk and hit a metal concrete sign before flipping over. Police say a man in his late 20s had to be pulled from the car and later died. A woman in her late 20s was also in the car at the time and was taken to ECMC where we're told she is listed in stable condition this evening. It is unclear right now who was driving the car at the time of the crash. Police are looking into whether speed played a factor. The Guardian Angels are in South Buffalo. The Guardian Angels are making a comeback in the Queen City, and this time they're working to clean up the streets of South Buffalo. Now, we first told you about the Guardian Angels movement right here on News 4 at 6 yesterday. The citizen-driven anti-crime group is based out of New York City, but it does have chapters around the world. The group started recruiting local members and patrolling near Casanova Park today. The group's focus is on combating crime and addiction. Leaders say they're hopeful about giving Buffalo another shot, but the feeling isn't completely mutual with existing anti-violence groups. Yesterday, we spoke with Pastor James Giles, who leads the Buffalo Peacemakers. He says he doesn't see the Guardian Angels fitting in to what his group is already doing here, but that's something the Guardian Angels disagrees with. Whether it's people in pink, uh, pink uh, shower caps, cowboy hats, berets, whether you're peacemakers, whatever the name of your organization, the more the better. The increase in opioid addiction, the heroin, the fentanyl flooding the streets. Who out there could say you couldn't use any other members of any other public safety organizations that want to help? Well, the Guardian Angels say they have established programs for teens and they plan to reach out to Buffalo Police to kick off a partnership. We have more information about the organization and how you can get involved if you're interested on our website, WIVB.com. Just search for the story. Still to come tonight on News 4 at 6, saving lives step by step. How Western New Yorkers are coming together to fight ALS. And up and running, we'll show you what the rest stop and plaza here has to offer in the Tonawandas.